Have you ever pondered over the paradox of wealth? The rich get richer while the poor stagnate or even become poorer. Ever wondered why? It's a question that has puzzled philosophers, economists and social scientists for centuries. The answer, surprisingly, lies in the simple yet profound concept of assets and liabilities. In the world of finance, assets are resources with economic value, something that you own that can provide future benefits. It could be investments, properties or businesses. They are the golden geese that lay the golden eggs, the source of continuous income. On the other hand, liabilities are what you owe. These are your debts, your obligations. They are the stones that weigh you down, the black holes that suck away your hard-earned money. Now here's the intriguing part. The rich, they have a knack for amassing assets. Their focus is not just on earning more, but on growing what they already have. They're like gardeners who constantly plant seeds and nurture their garden, reaping a bountiful harvest over time. Contrast this with the poor and the middle class. Their primary focus is often on earning more and spending more. They accumulate liabilities, buying things that take money out of their pockets. They're like those who constantly pick flowers from their garden, leaving it barren over time. But what if we could change this equation? What if we could transform these liabilities into assets? What if that car loan, that credit card debt, or even that mortgage could be turned into a source of income? This, my friends, is the true pathway to wealth accumulation. It's not about earning more, but about smartly shifting the balance in your favor. It's about turning the stones that weigh you down into stepping stones that lead you to financial freedom. It's about transforming the black holes that suck away your money into fountains of wealth. The key to wealth accumulation isn't necessarily earning more, but smartly converting liabilities into assets. Before we delve deeper, let's clarify what assets and liabilities truly are. In the realm of finance, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket. It could be an investment like stocks, bonds or real estate, or it could be something as simple as a savings account. The common thread among all assets is that they generate income. Imagine a rental property, for instance. Every month it brings in a steady stream of rental income, making it a quintessential asset. On the other hand, liabilities are what take money out of your pocket. These are your debts and financial obligations, like car loans, mortgages, and credit card debts. For instance, if you have a car on loan, the monthly payments you make towards it are a drain on your financial resources, making it a liability. Now, the goal isn't to completely avoid liabilities. After all, most of us need to take on some form of debt at some point in our lives, be it for a home, a car, or an education. The key is to manage these liabilities wisely and not let them overtake your assets. Why, you might ask? Simply put, assets generate income and liabilities generate expenses. The more income your assets generate, the more financial freedom you have. Conversely, the more expenses your liabilities generate, the more they can potentially impede your financial growth. So, a crucial part of wealth creation is increasing your assets and decreasing your liabilities. This doesn't necessarily mean buying more property or stocks or getting rid of all your debts overnight. It could just mean making small, consistent steps towards saving more, investing wisely and managing your debts effectively. Wealthy individuals often have a higher ratio of assets to liabilities and there lies the secret to their prosperity. By focusing on building assets and controlling liabilities, they create a strong foundation for wealth that can withstand the test of time. And that, in essence, is what wealth creation is all about. Now that we have a clear understanding of assets and liabilities, we can delve deeper into how to convert liabilities into assets. So stay tuned, as this could be the turning point in your financial journey. Wealthy individuals often have a higher ratio of assets to liabilities and there lies the secret to their prosperity. Now that we understand the difference between assets and liabilities, let's explore the art of conversion. Many perceive this as a complex process, but in reality it's about shifting perspectives, making wise decisions and adopting creative strategies. The art of conversion is nothing but transforming your liabilities, the financial burdens, into assets, the wealth generators, Let's take an example. Consider your home. It's often seen as an asset, but if you're paying a mortgage, it's technically a liability. But what if you could turn part of your home into a rented space? Perhaps a room or a basement apartment? Suddenly, what was once a drain on your resources is now a source of income. You've converted a liability into an asset. 
consider your car. It depreciates over time and requires constant maintenance, making it a liability. But what if you use it for a ride-sharing service or a delivery job in your spare time? Now it's producing income, effectively becoming an asset. But it's not always about tangible assets and liabilities. Let's talk about skills. Maybe you're an excellent cook or you're fluent in a second language. These skills might be dormant liabilities if they're not being used, but by teaching cooking classes or offering language tutoring, these skills become assets that generate income. This conversion process is not just about earning money, it's about financial independence, creating multiple streams of income and accelerating wealth creation. It's a mindset shift, a strategic move that can change the course of your financial journey. Remember, every liability has the potential to become an asset. It's about finding opportunities, being innovative and using your resources wisely. It's about turning the tables on your finances, flipping the script from financial strain to financial gain. The art of conversion is a powerful tool in the arsenal of wealth creation. Embrace it, master it, and watch as your financial landscape transforms. Words are mere words unless exemplified. Let's look at some real life examples of this conversion. Consider the tale of a woman named Sarah. Once she owned an expansive piece of land, a family inheritance. It was a liability costing her a significant amount in property taxes and maintenance every year. But Sarah, a shrewd woman, converted this liability into an asset. She transformed the land into a thriving organic farm, selling produce to local markets. This venture turned her burdensome liability into a profitable asset, significantly improving her wealth. Now let's take a look at the story of a man named Robert. Robert was a car enthusiast and owned several vintage cars. While these vehicles were his passion, they were also liabilities draining money for repairs and storage. Robert, however, had a brilliant idea. He started renting out his vintage cars for events and film shoots. This move turned his liability into a lucrative asset, changing his financial situation for the better. Lastly, let's traverse the journey of a young entrepreneur, Lily. Lily was saddled with a hefty student loan, a common liability among young professionals. Instead of letting this debt weigh her down, Lily used her education to start a successful online consulting business. Her knowledge and skills, funded by the loan, became her most valuable assets. This enterprise not only helped her repay the loan, but also laid the foundation for her financial prosperity. These stories showcase the power of innovative thinking and strategic planning. Sarah, Robert and Lily were all faced with potential financial burdens, yet they chose to view these not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. Their strategies and determination to convert liabilities into assets led to remarkable increases in their wealth. These examples illustrate how converting liabilities into assets can drastically change one's financial situation. The road to wealth is not a secret, but a journey of financial education. Indeed, the journey to financial freedom is paved with knowledge, and it's a road that we all have the potential to travel. Financial education is the bedrock of wealth creation. It's like a map, guiding us through the complexity of monetary matters, from understanding the difference between assets and liabilities to mastering the art of conversion. With this knowledge, we can navigate the financial landscape with confidence, and turn our financial fortunes around. The power of financial education lies in its ability to empower individuals. It equips us with the tools to convert liabilities into assets. Think about it. A liability drains your resources while an asset increases your wealth. With financial education, we learn how to turn the tables on our liabilities, transforming them into money-making machines. But it's more than just about making money. Financial education fosters financial independence. It's the ability to make informed decisions about your finances, to understand the implications of your choices and to take control of your financial future. It's about being able to stand on your own two feet, financially speaking. Financial literacy also fosters resilience. In an ever-changing economic landscape, those who understand the language of money are better equipped to navigate financial turbulence. They are the ones who can turn challenges into opportunities, who can see the silver lining in the financial cloud. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of financial education is its potential to break the cycle of poverty. 
It provides the knowledge and skills needed to create and manage wealth, offering a way out for those stuck in financial hardship. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the realm of finance, this adage holds especially true. So let's empower ourselves. Let's equip ourselves with the knowledge to understand, manage, and grow our wealth. Let's take control of our financial future. Financial education is the compass that guides us on the path to wealth. The journey starts with understanding the difference between assets and liabilities and harnessing the power to convert one into the other. 